Yo, what's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Welcome back to the Boss Coin YouTube channel. Today we're gonna be talking about the top five reasons why you should buy or mine Beam cryptocurrency, not financial advice, entertainment purposes only. So in today's video, we're gonna dive into Beam, the Beam coin, kind of what goes into it, the technology, the top five key reasons here. Some of the things we're gonna be talking about are atomic swaps, their own version of lightning, a mineable proof of work cryptocurrency, a coin that has a professional registered treasury to handle funds and facilitate the growth of that coin and the most relevant of all the things we're talking about today is the block reward having so this is not a bs hype show video we're talking straight facts straight you know technicals here we're going to talk about exactly what makes this project different and why it's going to be a very big contender in the blockchain cryptocurrency space moving into 2020 without further ado let's roll 10 seconds of the beautiful pup tails and then the intro and jump into the video speaking of our furry friend right here let's have a little fun and add a giveaway for every 10 comments on this video another beam coin will be given away to one lucky winner all you have to do is comment below with your beam address and include your favorite cryptocurrency you get notified in about a month on the youtube comments if you're the lucky winner At the time of this video, Beam is trading at about 54 cents or 7,423 Satoshis, 0.00007423 Bitcoin, with a market cap of 27 million. The last 24 hour trading volume was 20 million USD, a circulating supply of 51 million Beam, and a max supply. Well, that's always the same. So, as we can see, Beam has really taken off over the last year, and that last year is so critical in a projects growth right right we have seen the coin come out had that initial hype and then kind of came back down to reality and while the volume looks low this coin is still doing five million dollars of volume within a month of launching their blockchain that alone is a huge feat moving forward as the year progressed they had now they're doing like a minimum right now so we got low volume low volume right now of 20 million dollars a day and while it's not all about price and all that stuff having volume is a big deal when it comes to buying coins selling coin mining coin and, and everything else volume is important just for the growth of the project getting into more hands and so forth you may have saw our video at the beginning of 2019 we talked about you know briefly what is beam and then how to mine it and it has been a crazy ride since then looking at beams official website beam.mw I really like how it's styled they keep it simple to the point what you want to know you probably want a wallet or you want to know where you can buy beam or you want more details on mining beam those are the three critical things to kind of getting started and getting into their ecosystem there so we go here and it'll automatically detect your operating system and take you to the gui gui graphical user interface basically a wallet with buttons and stuff not with a you know code looking wallet and uh, yeah you can grab it from there so let's roll into the top five reasons why you should be really looking at beam here in 2020 okay so you may be familiar with you know you maybe heard of a bitcoin right you probably have and there's a block reward having coming up right in 135 days or may 14th at the time of uh, shooting this video and basically what that means is that how many coins are mined and emitted every single day will be cut in half you would need half as much money coming in just to maintain that price so you could naturally assume that price would go up after that inflation is basically reduced what is the emission rate reducing to with beam so after the halving which if you're watching this video right when it came out is just in a couple days here to be specific it should be about january 4th about one year after the blockchain launched once that having occurs well it's, again it's going to be half the coins so moving from 100 coins to 50 coins a day 40 coins to miners 10 coins to the beam treasury so there's gonna be 72,000 beams emitted per day or 26 million beams emitted per year so i mean that's a massively drastic reduction there also ignore the values right here this was uh, uh an article we wrote when beam was valued at about a dollar 50 and right now it's trading at 54 cents but just keep in mind basically everything's gone down since then but the actual beam numbers will never change that's set in the beam code 
the other value is you know obviously subject to chain basically the having is a big deal with bitcoin and naturally with beam you need half as many dollars coming in every day to maintain the current price so naturally you could assume that the price will go up or at a minimum it will fall less reason number one is a perfect lead-in to reason number two it's a mineable proof of work cryptocurrency the same concept that secures the biggest and baddest blockchain ever Bitcoin, right? And so Beam does it too in their own unique GPU mineable algorithm. You can see we just set up a new worker here, our new mining rig on the Beam leaf pool mining pool, and it'll show your hash rate, how many coins you're earning, when it's ready for a payout. One of the key things here is that you need to always have your wallet online to receive coins. So you may notice I just requested a payout, right? And here's a Beam wallet. And with this, I can go and well, basically I need to have it online or I won't be able to receive the transaction. The mining pool tried to send me an automatic payout here because I set up automatic payouts. It was canceled because my wallet was offline. This is one of the caveats when it comes to Beam and the Mimblewimble privacy protocol. It's good and bad. We can see we just requested the payout and now and very quickly it shows up wallet side, shows it's in progress. We get all the transaction details right here, including a nice baked in wallet feature where you can leave comments with your payments. Something you'd think we'd see more cryptocurrencies by now, but we simply don't. I've talked a lot about Mining Beam before, especially here on the channel, and I even have an updated Beam mining guide because they forked their mining algorithm to basically an updated one like they promised to do in their original white paper to their Beam 2 mining algorithm. Basically what this means is they just preserved GPU mining even further with Beam, which is a big deal for GPU miners. I have a full video guide on how to mine Beam if that's what you're looking to do. The biggest takeaway from the project being proof of work mineable though, is that it is awesome security for the blockchain and it's an excellent distribution method for the coins. You want some coins, turn on your computer hardware, point it at their blockchain on their mining pools you, with the relevant miners, and you will earn those coins in exchange for your electricity. These are coins that are never generated out of thin air. They are created by mining rigs. You're trading electricity for coins, a real world value. The next reason, reason number three, is atomic swaps. If you don't know what atomic swaps is, I'm going to briefly explain it, but it's a big deal. A lot of projects have been working on atomic swaps for quite a while, and uh, they haven't gotten as far as Beam has in less than a year, which really hats off to them for this achievement. Seriously, I'm not just like, you know, blowing smoke here, or hyping them up or whatever. Like, it's, it's seriously a big deal. So atomic swaps is an advanced feature right now. It's in beta and all that stuff, but it's in beta. It's a public beta. You can use it. If you're a nerd like me, you can get out there. You can try this stuff and it is so cool to see. But before I show you a little bit more about atomic swaps and I have links out to everything I talked about in today's video, like this article and, and all the resources. And with those, you can learn more, continue your research. And also you can join our server and the beam just uh, discord server to ask questions and get involved with our community. But what is an atomic swap? So first let's go over very briefly the basic non atomic swap approach. Alice sends her coins to Bob a coins. Bob receives the A coins. Bob sends his B coins to Alice. Alice receives the B coins. So with this, we're really entirely trusting Bob that he's gonna send his coins. If Bob doesn't send his coins, it's too bad, too sad, so sad. Alice sent her coins and now Bob has them and he can just run away with them. This is where atomic swaps come in, not only to reduce time, but also to increase security. So in, a, in atomic swaps, in this kind of setup, we have a lock transaction, a redeem transaction, and a refund transaction. And again, very quickly, very basic overview of it. Both parties lock their coins and on the respective chain using the lock transaction. Once the lock is confirmed, a uh, exchange secret is used to lock the funds and send the redeem transaction to the chain. If the swap fails for any reason, say like Bob doesn't do his part or there's some kind of issue or there weren't enough coins or whatever, then a refund transaction can be sent to the network and the, lock and the parties can get their locked coins back. Oh, and by the way, this stuff's like pretty much instant too, which is super freaking cool. Furthermore, it's baked right into their wallet. How freaking cool is that? That's mainstream, that's super cool. It's not like the third tab, fourth tab, hidden tab. It is the second tab. You go wallet, then you go atomic swaps. From here, you can accept offers, you can create offers. All from within the wallet, you'll be able to atomic swap numerous coins. 
they already have a Bitcoin beta set up along with Litecoin and Qtum. This is very cool. Obviously, there's not a lot of liquidity. It's still in testing. If you, something bad goes wrong, it's, you know, it's kind of at your own risk here. Just some things to keep in mind. But the fact that just within under a year, they already have atomic swaps in a very viable and usable beta. And basically, if they do not polish this and finish it and really get it out there to market, that, that would look terrible for the project. So that, like the faith is there that they have to do this. Uh, it, it's a pretty big deal. This alone, all the other stuff that this coin does aside, this alone makes this coin viable, useful, and probably should be on, you know, consider adding to your portfolio, not giving financial advice. I'm just here to give you guys some entertaining and factual information. So before I drone on and on, let's jump into the number four reason, the unique technology to this project. Aside from everything else we've already talked about, one thing we haven't really touched on today, but we touched on before, is that Beam is a Mimble Wimble coin. Okay, so what does that mean? Why do you care? And why are you thinking of Harry Potter? Well, it's because it's kind of from Harry Potter, but that's not really the point. In a Mimble Wimble blockchain, there's no identif identifiable or reusable addresses, meaning that all transactions look like random data to an outsider. The transaction data is only visible to their respective participants. This means it is a privacy coin. It's private by default. It's only private, okay? Period, privacy coin. So if you like anonymous privacy coins, here you go. Mimblewimble is gonna fit your bill. Mimblewimble employs a feature called cut through which reduces the block data by removing redundant transaction information. This is a critical part in making the uh, Mimblewimble blockchains more scalable because the blockchain data is smaller. Mimblewimble blockchains are private and the transactions cannot be traced at all. I know there's recently been some information coming out against Mimblewimble. Keep in mind that this is a new and developing tech and all of their features are not fully fleshed out yet. Beam and Grin are aware of this and working towards enhancing their privacy naturally. All in all, when you take Mimblewimble and you compare it versus Bitcoin, it's basically a blockchain that's only keeping essential information while being privacy by default and only which thus provides more privacy. They also use an advanced or, you know, more developed method, or you could say differently developed method of confidential transactions, CTs. But yeah, anyway, privacy coin, lighter than Bitcoin. Not saying it's better than Bitcoin, it's just a lighter purpose-built blockchain like that. Speaking of Bitcoin, you may have heard of the Lightning Network on Bitcoin. Well, Beam is working on their own version, calling it Laser Beam, which is naturally a cool name. I mean, I'm not trying to sound like a fanboy here, but that's pretty cool. With Laser Beam, it's literally just their own version of Lightning Network. Instant transactions, no need to wait for transaction confirmations after the initial setup. There's no transaction fee. Okay, I know I've paid a lot of dollars and coins through transaction fees over the years. No transaction fee sounds like a great news to me. It's hidden, okay? Privacy coin stays private. The information about intermediate transactions is never broadcasted. The number of off-chain transactions, frequency, and amounts are never revealed. This is cool stuff. If you're not familiar with Lightning, then Laser Beam is going to be confusing to you as well. This is a big deal. Lightning is a big deal. Laser Beam is a big deal. I can't stress that stuff enough. If you're not already vaguely familiar with this kind of tech, it's really worth some time researching and it's really a, it's gonna be a huge catalyst for cryptocurrency and blockchains moving forward. But I'm not gonna dive too deep into it today. Where really this is it because it's more of an overview video. Which brings us to number five before I make this a 30 minute video. Announcing the Beam Foundation. After over 18 months of living and working as a company, Beam is moving towards even further decentralization with the official launch of their Beam Foundation. Basically, instead of just being a coin with a team, they have a nonprofit organization that is going to have to be even more transparent than ever. And they have a board of directors so you can understand who's doing what, who's influencing, how many coins they have, where they're going. They've been pretty transparent the whole way because if, if you go to their blockchain explorer, you can see that they have the amount of coins in their treasury publicly listed. It's public information, decentralized. And it tells you what their next coin emission amount is going to be and when that emission amount is going to happen. So you basically, you know, from now it's about 7,000 blocks away. That's a big deal. And so because they were already pretty transparent and decentralized in that manner, moving to a foundation isn't going to be that hard for them. And I bring this up as being the number five reason because 
this funding and foundation is the reason why Beam is going to continue to soar much higher than Grint. Not hating on Grint, okay? If you've heard of Grint Coin, it's basically their competitor on Mimblewimble Privacy Protocol and, and whatever else. But the point is that this foundation and this treasury and this funding is what allows Beam to continue to operate and develop and thrive even in tough markets because they continually get funding. People don't wanna work for free. I wouldn't develop a coin for free. I just wouldn't, man. I, I got bills to pay. I got to buy dog food. I'm trying to buy some car parts. I mean, we all have goals and fun things and necessities and mortgages and whatever. All in all, the foundation's not even taking a huge chunk. We see coins like Zcash, they take 20% of all the coins mined on their blockchain very quickly. We've got the Beam Foundation here receiving 4% of all the mined coins. And that's going to their initial investors, their found their uh, nonprofit foundation, and whatever else that they want to do with their four percent of the coin. The summary of number five is not only the foundation, but really also the funding. The funding and foundation will continue to not only let Beam continue as it is, but continue building and improving and funding whatever ventures and developers and anything else that they'd like to do. And finally, let's review what Beam accomplished in 2019, what they're looking to accomplish in early 2020, and then just some final thoughts and summary here. So looking at their 2019 roadmap, they launched their mainnet as we talked about January 3rd, 2019. With their mainnet launch, they had a fully functional wallet, they had a graphical user interface GUI wallet, which did work successfully. You could not mine out of it, but that was fixed later on. Obviously, they're gonna need full node uh, capabilities there. M moving into February, they had some you know, smaller but very needed developments. And then once March hit, they hit ultra fast sync for their wallets and a Android mobile wallet, which mobile wallets are a big deal for adoption. And honestly, this blockchain, this wallet, it syncs fast. All right, if you've never synced their desktop wallet, Give it a shot and you'll be astonished how fast this blockchain sinks compared to some other top cryptocurrencies not going to bash anyone specifically once july 2019 hit they had their proof of work change to beam hash 2 which is super awesome from a miner's point of view and proof of work changes like that in my opinion are a big deal and some of these things are what's really going to make beam stand apart from other projects like ethereum that have basically completely abandoned their uh, GPU miners. But I've already talked about that before on the channel too. They, at this point, they also added a uh, uh, CLI support for atomic swaps and then relative time locks and laser beam support. Moving forward into December 2019, they put atomic wallets into their desktop wallet with their uh, double Doppler 4.0 release. Looking at 2020, Obviously, the halving is going to take place on January 4th, and the black rule will be uh, halved, as we talked about. 2020 is going to be a huge year for uh, decentralized finance, DeFi. I'm sure you've seen DeFi everywhere in all the articles you're reading lately. And uh, confidential DeFi is going to rise above just DeFi because crypto, you know, the secret, like, privacy part of currency. Like, we got to stay privacy-centric, or it's not really cryptocurrency. It's just currency. So they're already working on a confidential assets and Ethereum bridges, ETH, ETH bridges, and this will allow value moving from Ethereum to Beam and trading it confidentially. Smart contracts are the next thing on the way to full-fledged confidential DeFi system via a side chain. So anyway you slice it guys, Beam has done a lot of awesome stuff over the last year and looking forward into the next year, they've got some pretty big plans and a couple very critical and very innovative and big deal features to flesh out. It's GPU mineable. If you're watching this and you're in a miner and this doesn't get you excited, I don't know what to tell you, man. I know mining profits are not that great right now, but the fact that there's still some good options is pretty freaking cool. So personally, these are my top five reasons why I think you should really be looking at Beam. And I'm not saying buy it because that's financial advice. You do whatever you want to do. But at a minimum, I would be pointing my uh, gaming computer or mining rig in its spare time or well, full time, you know, if you're not using it to be stacking a couple coins. Something like Bitcoin, you can't GPU mine. But this is a project you can. There's also a project working on their own version of Lightning. They are very close. I mean, they're, they've successfully completed already atomic swaps. You can go try out the beta yourself. They have funding. Okay. They're not going to bleed out. They're not going to go away. They have money to pay people and they, they have a lot of money, to be honest. They have a lot of funding. They're going to get millions over the next year to run their project. 
all organically through their blockchain and not some kind of you know lame ICO, you know, VC, venture capitalist backed funding that could be detrimental to the growth of the project. And those are also the kind of investors and funding that are people looking to 2X, 3X, 4X, 5X. When they get to that point, they're gonna dump, dump, dump. If all this money is routed through the team, you'd like to think that they don't want to dump on their community. That's not always true. All right, I just edited out a couple projects that did that. So I'm, I'm not going to get petty in today's video. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the top five reasons why I think that this is a critical coin for 2020. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the thumbs up on it. It makes all the difference. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you liked. Let me know what you didn't like. And above all, subscribe to the Voscoin YouTube channel. I'll see you guys on the next one.